Terry, good morning and welcome back to my channel, Southern Yankee. So I have some empties and I'm ready to get rid of them. So I wanted to share them with you. I will have them all linked below for you if you wanna check any of them out. And I haven't done an empties video in a long time. I think maybe I did one empties video last year and I don't have a ton, but I've got some goodies here to go through with you, some hair. I think I have one or two things for the face and then a lot of like skincare items and things. So, um, and I, if you guys like these videos, um, my goal with them is to share with you whether I would repurchase or pass. So in fact, that's what they might be. They might be titled empties or repurchase or pass. So, all right, so let's start with hair. So I have the TG Bedhead. This was the color goddess and this was an oil infused conditioner. I did have the shampoo to go with this as well. I think I picked this up at like, um, I don't know, I think it was like TJ Maxx or Marshalls on sale or whatever. I liked this, but I will say, if you have oily hair, this is highly, highly moisturizing. And I think if you have oily hair, you would not like this. This has extra oils and moisturizers and it's an oil infused conditioner. So like someone with my, like my daughter, she has thin hair and it, this would be too much for her. I have a little bit coarser dry hair and my hair sucked this up. So let me just put this here so you can see it. So if you have that kind of like dry, coarse hair, yes. If you have thin, oily hair, you I don't think you're gonna like it. I think your hair would be weighed down and you would feel like you had to wash it again the next day. But for my hair, it just made my hair soft and beautiful and it just needed all that moisture. So yes, I would repurchase this again. One I won't repurchase again, and you can see I didn't even finish it. Um, this is chlorine and I got this, the conditioner, and there's something else. I got three things. So this is the shampoo. It's um, like it's shampoo a la pivion, uh, soothing and anti-irritating shampoo with peony, and it was for sensitive and irritated scalp. Now I don't really have a sensitive and irritated scalp, and I think I got this as like an add-on or something from like FabFitFun. I hated this shampoo and I hated this conditioner so so much. I can't remember what it smells like. It doesn't have a strong peony scent. A little bit like this scent's fine it's a very it's not the kind of scent that i that lingered in my hair or anything you know sometimes when you wash your hair my hair tends to retain scent and um people always tell me your hair smells good this is not that kind of shampoo it's very very gentle but i it i think it was made if i looked at it i think it didn't have like um let's see it's ph balance protects your scalp for 24 hour comfort so if you have an itchy scalp that's what this is for um, water, sulfate, zinc. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what I didn't like about it was it left my hair really dry, really, really dry. This was not a moisturizing shampoo and the conditioner was the same way. The conditioner was like, I didn't use anything to condition my hair. It was like <coughs> snarled mess trying to get through my hair. Even if I took like a, a tangle brush, like a wet brush in the shower and tried to brush it through my hair gently when I had the conditioner in, no go, uh, no, no. So this is a no. I will not purchase this one ever again. In fact, I hated it so much. We tried to use it. Even Robert didn't like it. Like this was just a no. And you know, it's old too. It's been sitting there unused for about a year. I went to Nashville with the girls from YouTube. Was that a year ago or was it two years ago now? I don't remember. And I took this with me because I had the whole set and I hated it. And I ended up borrowing shampoo from other people. That's how horrible that was. <laughs> so just my two cents. All right. Then this one was a drugstore brand. This is the Gar Garnier. Um, this was the Whole Blends Repairing Conditioner, and I did get the shampoo as well. Uh, this is their Honey Treasure one with Royal Jelly Honey and Propolis Extract, which Royal Jelly and Honey Propolis is super good. I actually have something I'm using right now with Royal Jelly and Propolis, like it's a night's, um, night mask for my skin. Uh, and I, in fact, I just used it last night. And this says it's for strengthening, it strengthens and heals damaged hair and it's enriched uh, with a natural blend and it's paraben free. I do like this. I really liked this. I think there might be like a little drop left. It, again, this is not one that's like overwhelmingly like strong scent wise. Let me bring it in so you can see. But this worked. The conditioner worked and the shampoo worked. It softened my hair. Um, I think it did a nice job on my hair. Um, 
it, you know, it's not the best conditioner I've ever used, but I really did like this. And let's see, I've really been having a problem reading some of these things on here. So Royal Jelly Honey and Propolis, bringing life to our wholesome care that strengthens hair and helps prevent split ends and breakage. Um, I think, I don't know if this is like a, this is also a recyclable bottle, but I think this might be like their, their like natural line or something. It's been a bit since I've purchased this, but I would purchase this again if I'm like, I think I got it at Target. I do like that. So, all right. Um, I finished this. This is the Native Deodorant in Coconut Vanilla. Um, they sell these at Target as well. In fact, I have another one upstairs. I forgot the scent that's upstairs now that I'm using. Um, so I sometimes will use these organic ones at nighttime and I like them. They're purse size. So I'll throw it in my purse if like, you know, some days you just like are rushing and you forget your deodorant and then you like, oh my God, I stink. You know, that's what you need it for. So the scent was nice with this. It, um, definitely more coconut than vanilla because I can still smell it. And it didn't irritate my underarms. Sometimes they're so grainy. This is one of those like organic deodorants and I've tried a lot of them and there's actually some that irritate and give you a rash under your armpits but you know regular deodorant which you know takes care of both sweating and smell um, is got aluminum in it and they're finding more and more and more out that they're linking it in some cases to breast cancer and so aluminum it's because it can get into your lymph nodes aluminum is just not great for our bodies regardless um, so I was trying to switch over to an organic deodorant and a lot of them didn't help with the sweating or, you know, they would help with smell, but not sweating. And anyway, um, this is the only one I have found that I like. And so I have another one upstairs. I have already repurchased these. Um, these are little ones that I'll throw in like stockings and stuff at Christmas time. So again, this is the coconut vanilla. Really great. Love to know if you have a favorite scent with the native if you, or if you've even tried the native deodorant. All right. Then... The rest of this, I think, is mostly skincare and hair care. Okay, this is a microdermabrasion regenerator by Context. Um, and I have this in the shower, and um, it's basically an exfoliator for your face. Um, it was very gentle exfoliator. I liked it. I didn't love this. Like, I didn't like this one enough to go back and repurchase, but I used it up because it was, I had it in the shower. So whenever I'd take a shower, I would exfoliate my face and I did just use it on my face. I don't know if it was for your anywhere else. Let's see. Two in one daily cleanser and gentle exfoliator soothes and purifies skin as it effectively cleanses. So it just says it's for your skin. It doesn't say you can't use it on other parts of your body because sometimes I'll exfoliate here because, um, if I, I, I've been getting some acne on my chest and stuff from, um, either perfume or detergent, or sometimes just like if I have like a hot and cold, like sometimes at night, like I'll have like a hot flash and I'll sweat real bad. And I've been getting some acne on my chest. I don't get it on my face, but I get it on my chest. So I would use this on my face, neck and chest. So, but I have other brands that I like better. So I won't, I'm not gonna repurchase that one. This I just used up. This is the Laneige Moisture Cream for normal to dry skin. And it's a water bank cream. Um, I used it on my face and I don't know, it's hydrating and soothing. It doesn't really say whether it's for your face or if you can use it like on your hands and stuff. I suppose you probably could, but it's not listed as a hand cream. So here it is. Um, I really like Laneige and I really like water creams as you're gonna see in here. They're very, very hydrating. It's like you just get a burst of hydration and the Laneige line is fabulous. I also have some of the Laneige like, um, lip mask like the overnight lip mask love those if you have not tried those you need to um Laneige can be a little bit pricey so I you know for me it's going to be like if this is on sale I will buy it if it's um there's another one in here actually two more that I'm going to show you or no one more um this is the belief aqua bomb true cream aqua bomb and I actually prefer as much as Laneige is probably like a bougier line. I like the belief better. Here's the belief. And I have several of these. I have one with CBD up in the, uh, in my bedroom. I have several and I use these a lot when my skin is dry and I need that extra boost. This one's thicker. In fact, I just finished this one up today. This one actually was 
thicker. It's um, where this is a lighter water cream and it just, it just felt like it really moisturized and um, helped my skin, like my skin drank it in. This one was like a thicker water cream, but I like both of them. But I think my preference is for the Belief. If I was to pick from both, I would pick this one right here, the Belief. So, and I have a couple that they, these have been, they've thrown this size in samples. So I haven't had to buy these yet, but I will buy these when I run out because I like them that much. Um, also, I've been keeping an eye on this to see if this comes, if this is on sale anywhere because this is so expensive. And I think I got this as maybe a sample in Sephora, at Sephora. Oop. It is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair uh, Synchronized Recovery Complex for your skin. And it's a serum that you put on your skin when you're going to bed after you clean your face. You just put this on and it's an overnight treatment. Oh my God, guys, this helps so much with fine lines and wrinkles and my skin feels so good. I was like using every last drop of this trying, I don't think there's anything left in it. Oh, there is, there, look, there's, there's a bubble. There's a bubble left. Um, oh, it's so wonderful. It does have a, no, it doesn't have a scent. I'm selling, smelling my perfume. There's no scent. Um, but like the full size of this sucker is always so, so expensive. I will post this down below. I can't remember what the price is, but I remember it shocking me and it was like a little one and it was so expensive. So I will link it for you, but if you guys know anywhere you can get this on sale or if you ever find this on sale, message me and let me know because this really helped my skin. And I, I think if I had had a bigger one with continued use, it would have continued to help my skin. So I want more of that. So yeah, that is a definite purchase and I will be purchasing. I've been keeping my eye open for it. All right, next up, I got this. This is the Innisfree Nourishing Cream with Ginger and Honey. And you might have remembered, if, you, if you've been following me a while, I did a couple of um, reviews from Innisfree. I think I have a um, orchid or lilac one upstairs that I'm using now. And I got them free through the Octoly program. And it's all used up and I like Innisfree. Um, Innisfree did get purchased, I think maybe by L'Oreal. I forgot, but Innisfree, the company did get purchased, but guys, they have some really, really nice skincare. And if I remember their prices were fairly reasonable as well. This one just had, um, had ginger and honey. It says moisturizing cream formulated with ginger and honey complex that melts into skin to deliver a rich nourishment and help protect your skin. And I really like this for a daily moisturizer. This was um, not a night moisturizer. It was definitely a um, just a day cream. Good size bottle, simple ingredients, clean. Really like this. So yes, I would repurchase this. Um, I still have a whole nother jar of the, that's like a purple one. I think it's like, I think it's like a um, lilac or something. Anyway, um, I'm still using that. So I don't need that. Um, this was the Makeup Meltaway Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy. It's the green, green clean. Can you guys see that? And then there it is. Pharmacy. Now I was first introduced to the pharmacy line via Beautylish. I got a lucky bag and there was a, I don't know what the dogs are barking at. There was a, um, pharmacy item in there and I loved it. And I have purchased some of the pharmacy line myself. And then I got some more in, I believe I just got something in BoxyCharm and I'm re I'm a big fan of the pharmacy line in general. So this was a cleansing bomb. So this was basically like, so I think I must've had some, med um, some makeup on my fingers when I dug in there. So this is like melt, literally melts your, your makeup off your face. It let you put it all over your eyes, everything. And it just melts everything off your face. And then you go in with a regular like cleanser and just get anything else that might be, um, need to come off. And it, it takes everything off. It just melts it off. I love, love, love it. However, I found one that I just purchased that I like as much as this one, if not more. I got a big one and it smells so good. Um, and it's in my, I'm going to be putting together a, like a kind of a nighttime, like relaxation, bath time routine with some products and 
um, you guys will be hearing about my new melting cleansing balm that I found. But yeah, I would repurchase this. I really, really like the pharmacy line. All right, then I have um, a, this was a like, um, like a retinol um, serum type of a thing. It's from Meaningful Beauty by Cindy Crawford. And it's the Youth Activating Melon, Melon Serum. And um, when she created her, her Meaningful Beauty line, she uses the special melon that you can only find in a certain spot. And it's supposed to have all these youthful, you know, things. And I liked it. I will tell you, I used the whole thing. It's hard for me to get through something that size that's a serum. And I really did like the Meaningful Beauty. The whole line is beautiful. Um, I'm still using a couple of the other items in there. There's like a night... Uh, a night cream from her that I'm using and I have some um, lip stuff and some eye cream. Um, I got those from a Bless box, I believe. I don't know that I will repurchase this anytime soon. I may I may purchase it once I'm done, but I'm, I've got so much skincare and serums and moisturizers and everything right now that I just can't even justify buying any more of my of skincare that I want because I just have so much to get through, so much brand new stuff. I mean, every box sends us it seems like more and more skincare. So anyway, this is a wonderful product. I, and I would repurchase it. It's not, it's definitely not a pass, but I just don't need it right now. And I won't need it for a while. All right. So getting into a couple of makeup items, kind of, um, this was the pretty, uh, pretty filter glassy skin balm and it's by Touch and Soul. And this is basically like a creamy primer for your face. Really nice, it's a little like silicone-y, has like a little slip to it. Um, basically it's just a base before you put your makeup on to help your makeup adhere to your skin. And I like it, but I do think it's a pass for me. And not a pass because I didn't like the product. I do like the product. I just seriously don't think that I would go out and buy it. Again, I have so many different bases and primers and I don't always use a primer. I probably should, but I don't. I always forget to use them. So I probably would pass on that. You guys know I liked this. In fact, there's like a little, ugh, I didn't, there's like a couple more spritzes in here. This is the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. I got this in one of my Trend Mood box. I got to pull the other one out. I could probably like a couple more squirts in there. You guys, you can, I don't know how well you can see. There's like like a couple more squir squirts, but this one was the mango, I believe. And I have another one, I think that was like a lemon or something. And these are fabulous setting sprays. I love the smell of them. I could spray it all day. It has a nice mister. I would say the mister on this is maybe a little heavy. Like right now, like you, I, I would have to like take a little beauty blender to go in. It's not the finest mist that I've ever used. Um, but I really like it and I think it's the scent. So these are a yes, I would buy these again. And then the only other makeups um, I have, and this was actually through, I think I got this in PR through the Octoly program. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer. I'm so sad this is gone. I tried to get like my last drop out of it today. And um, what was kind of cool about this, you have a pump when you're using it for foundation. So there still is some in here I can probably scrape out if I want to use it for concealer, which I probably will. I'll probably use what's left in there <laughs> as concealer. This is a yes. I'm going to buy this again. This is a beautiful full coverage foundation. I have the shade MN1 in case you're a similar skin tone as me, but I'm probably going to buy this again. Although I just purchased, it's not here yet, the Shiseido foundation, which I watch Kinky Sweat and she loves that and she's used it for a while. So I've been wanting to try that. So I'm going to use the Shiseido and then I'm going to go back and buy this. I got to let my dogs in. They're barking, but those are all of my empties that I have right now and my purchase or pass, repurchase or pass. Let me know what you think. If you tried any of these items in the comments down below, subscribe on your way out. If you're not subscribed, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Stay well, guys. Be blessed.